Learn how to live big while you are in a small place. Learn how to live big while you are in a small place. David and Nicole didn't start with a mega church. They didn't start with being on television. They didn't have digital screens and computerized lights and a praise team, and people on staff and multi-site locations like West Palm Beach and now the new one about to be birthed in Ferguson. Hallelujah! Right there in Ferguson, what the devil meant for bad. God's getting ready to turn it for good and revival is going to break out in Ferguson, Missouri. And I hope the news reports the good news. Listen, look beyond what is to what will be. You see, there's nothing wrong with being in a small place. Right? You're going to love this. But don't, as long as you don't let the small place get in on the inside of you. That was so good, I got to say, Brother Marcus, say it one more time, son. That was really good. I think I will. There's nothing wrong with being in a small place, but don't let the small place get on the inside of you. Job 8 and 7, though your beginning was small, yet your latter end shall greatly increase. Zechariah 4 and 10, despise not small beginnings. Joni and I got our first station on the air in 1985. Think about it, it's been 33 years. We had one little tiny station. And today, Daystar is on thousands of cable systems, TV stations, and satellites that reach into every country of the world. Here's some more of point four. Think big. Rachel, when I wrote this, I thought of you. Your brain is a thought factory. Big things begin with a thought. One acorn can turn into a whole forest. Your life won't get bigger than your thoughts. Think big and talk big. Oh, this is good, David. Get ready to shout, son. If you talk small about a small place, it will only get smaller. But if you talk big about a small place, it'll only get larger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 